So I've noticed recently that there's a trend of guitars with switches that do this. The flicking the switch up and down like that. So you've got your standard five positions and then you've got another five on the upper bank, they call it. So you've got I'd like to share with you why I think that this is a bad thing. So I recently went to the Birmingham Guitar Show and there were a bunch of manufacturers boasting these fancy new 10-way switches. Initially, I was very impressed because new guitar technology is always exciting. The possibility for new and unique switching options opens up when you've got systems like this. If you stick around to the end of the video, however, I'm gonna share with you why I think it might not be all that it's promising. I was inspired to do this video after watching a recent live stream by Steve Cassidy about his experiences of the Birmingham Guitar Show. I'm gonna pop a link down in the description to that live stream if you'd like to catch it yourself. Steve is a great chap and his channel puts out some fantastic videos, so I'd urge you to go check out his channel too. In that live stream, he brought up this really interesting point. This guitar my parts caster that I've had for over a year, well, almost two years, built, has the three-way, ten-way switch and it's had it for ages. Oops, there we go, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh no! We don't, I took it out of this one. Uh, and the reason I took it out is because it failed. It failed. Um, and I've got one in my USA Strat, which also has the freeway 10-way switch. Guess what? It failed. And I had to get sent back to freeway um, for a replacement. Reliability is everything when it comes to grabbing a guitar that you can rely on at gigs. The last thing that you want to be searching for under the heat of stage lights is a fault in your signal chain. As a side note, this is why I don't use certain pedals live and I always carry a backup just in case. This is a big reason why I suggest if you are modding a cheap guitar, you absolutely must upgrade the electrics too. We've all heard horror stories about those cheap little PCB mounted five way switches going bad. And for the sake of a 15 quid upgrade, it is not worth taking the risk. As a disclaimer, I don't have one of these 10 way switches and I'm talking purely out of speculation here. I've not had experience of these types of switches myself, so I can't talk about these personally. If you do own a guitar with one of these 10-way switches in, let me know how you get on with them in the comments below. I'd really like to hear personal experience on this one. I would be happy to change my mind on this matter, and this point isn't the reason why I don't think they're worth it. Whilst watching the live stream, I was reminded that I own this guitar. This is more than your standard HS Tele. It has got a lot of tricks up its sleeve. I asked Ben at Fletcher Pickups to turn this guitar into the ultimate studio tool. Everything on this guitar gives you options, and I mean everything. <laughs> The neck humbucker is splittable, so you can get real big thick bucker tones or split it to get a more vintage single coil sound. In the bridge is a really beefed up single coil, which is really similar to the Seymour Duncan quarter pounder. Ben also made this one tappable, so it can be a traditional telly single coil or a real spicy boy. There is also this magic switch, which allows any of the middle position settings to be out of phase. So all in all, it's got loads of options, but do you know what? I found maybe two or three that I really loved, and then the rest I just kind of forgot about. What's even more is that I found myself intimidated by all of the choice, and found myself reaching for more traditional tellies. In essence, I found what this guitar had given me was option paralysis. Fast forward a few years and I bought this. 
For those in the know, this is the Line 6 Variax. It models all of the guitars you may think about, and some that you don't. The dial lets you select a number of guitar presets and also lets you make your own custom banks. Once again, I was chasing that ultimate guitar that does it all. Now I'm going to let you into a little bit of a secret here. If you have ever heard any of the No Talk All Tone demos, you have heard a Line 6 Variax. But it's not quite as simple as that. Not only does this guitar allow you to model a bunch of other guitars, it also has its own inbuilt magnetic pickups. To put it simply, it can be used as a traditional strat. And that is the sound that you hear on every No Talk All Tone demo. Now, the modeling in the guitar sounds fantastic, but there are drawbacks. First of all, the option paralysis is there for this one as well. However, with this guitar, it's easier to ignore because you can just switch the modeling off and just have a standard strap. The issue is to power this stuff, it requires an inbuilt battery. I found that I became less and less bothered by charging the battery and gaining access to that digital side rather than the simplicity of just having a standard Strat setup. Now, I did find a use for the modeling when I was playing live. As great as Strat's concerns, I did find myself needing a bridge humbucker just for those more rocky songs. I used to leave the guitar modeling dial set to Leicester. No prizes for what that's based on. And I would engage the modeling whenever I needed that humbucking tone. It was as simple as just hitting a switch and it would be there. When I thought about it, however, what I was really after was an HSS Strat, and that is why I ended up buying this. So for me, more options led to less desire to experiment. A standard three-way or five-way switch, depending on the guitar, is enough for me. It gives me enough switching options for choice, but doesn't give me so many that I lose focus. What are your thoughts on it, though? Are you excited by the prospect of having 10 different pickup options? Drop your thoughts in the comments below because I'd really like to hear your opinions on this one. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you again on the next one.